Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today is part two of my bullet journal setup for 2022. So if you want to see the other spreads, the first ones that you're about to see in this flip through right now, you want to see them being done, I will leave the video linked down below to part one. But we are doing four spreads today and I will go through them as we get there. But as for supplies, for the most part, I am using, I still don't know how to pronounce it from the other video, but Monte Mart or something along those lines. I use that pen mostly in the black. It's the duo marker and it has a fine liner on one side and a brush pen on the other. I use the fine liner. I'm using it right now in the video. I use also some washi tapes, most of which are from Wish, some work from Kmart. I don't actually know which ones are which anymore, so I can't really link them down below because... I have a lot of freaking washi tape and I just don't know where most of them come from anymore. I also use some stickers. Some are from Shein. One lot is from an Etsy store. I will leave a link down below. I'll point it out when I get to it. There is also some bigger rectangular stickers that I use there from Shein as well as some little cardboard ones. Actually, you can see them in the top right hand corner of the video. The little ones are actually just pieces of cardboard. When I purchased them, I thought they were stickers my bad uh, but they are from Shein and the bigger ones they're like semi-transparent but those ones are also from Shein but they are actually stickers and for the brush pens that I'm using right now in the video they are the Tombow and they're the only brush pens I believe I use so this first spread is things to check out so this one as you saw I cut the top out of the second page that way I could flip between it and I only had to do one header I got this idea for things to check out from Amanda Rach Lee. I love her videos. I will leave her 2022 bullet journal setup down below. But I wanted to do this one. I did change the ideas a little bit. Like I used places, podcasts, movies, and TV shows. I think she included books, but like I read a shit ton of books. I'll need a bigger page than that for the ones that I want to check out. So I just, yeah, did TV shows, movies, podcasts, because I kind of want to get into podcasts again. I did listen to them for a little while, but kind of fell out of it. And also places I want to check out. That sticker sheet just there that I was using, that one, I will link it down below. It's from Closet Planner Addict on Etsy, I believe. I will leave it all linked down below. Everything I use in the video, except for the washi tapes, I will leave it linked down below. I use this little leafy tape to make a little kind of bit of a border for both spreads so I don't have to like, I did it up just above the where the cut is so you can see it when I fold the page as you can just see. Now onto this next spread which is my food log. I can't remember, I'll try and leave it linked down below where I got this idea from but theirs was very simple they just had like food log written on the side basically but this one I decided to split mine up into two. I've got foods to try which I basically mean foods I can go and buy that I want to try. Like I want to go to a restaurant and try something or I want to try a specific type of food. Oh, right now in this in the video, I'm running out of the tape I was going to use. And then I'm like, I flip back through trying to find if I could use it anywhere because I accidentally pulled it all off the roll. I ended up sticking it to the edge of my desk and then I do use a little bit of it later on. But the drama. The food to try is like foods, restaurants, that type of thing. And then I've got recipes to try. And that thick washi tape that you just saw me using, that's like the forest theme, it's not a continuous pattern. So I ended up cutting off a chunk of it because you could see clearly where the pattern started and finished. So I cut the chunk of it and then I put that on the previous page. Uh, I also decided last minute kind of to add a key to this one. And basically I just use three colors. I've got a tick, a line, which is like neutral, and across for whether I lacked them or not. Pretty self-explanatory. So moving on to the goals page. So this one, I have four goals set out. I gave them half page each. So that way I can kind of break down some like things that I can do to work towards those goals. I've never actually done a goal spread. I see everyone doing them, but I've never actually done one myself. But I decided to do it this year, see how we go. 
But firstly, I have travel and explore. I do want to travel more and, you know, see different things. So travel and explore and then save money. Pretty self-explanatory. Move out. Pretty self-explanatory. And walk more. Also fairly self-explanatory. That one, I do walk my dog, but I kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit in 2021. I was not doing as much as I should have. She was still getting plenty of exercise running around the yard like a lunatic, but actually going walking, getting out of the house and, you know, just enjoying nature. I wasn't doing that as much as I should have been. So I wanted to make that a goal for this year to get back into that. So I added some washi tape to the bottom just to give it some decor. And then I added some more stickers around and those little cardboard ones. You'll see in a second, I'm going through the pile of the bigger stickers, like the rectangle stickers, trying to find one that I wanted to use. Cause I thought with the travel and explore one, I should use one that like kind of matches that vibe. So I ended up picked this like mountain scene, but these are all themed like nature themed stickers. And I think the other pack is like green themed cause every now and then there's non nature things. Like there's a cat sitting in a window and the wall is green. So I think it's just all green stuff, <laughs> but the bigger ones are all like nature scenes. So now moving on to the very last spread, and this one is my theme planner, and you actually see me using this one in this spread as well in this video, I should say. So basically I saw this idea on someone else's account. Again, I will try and link it down below if I can remember whose video it was. I have watched a lot of bullet journal videos right now, but if I can find it, I will leave it linked down below. So in the middle, I wrote theme planner and then put my like yearly theme kind of in the middle there. Like I use some of the trees and this is where I found a place I could use some of that washi tape that I accidentally pulled all off the roll because it was hardly any of it left. And I'd end up throwing the rest out because three quarters of it was not actually sticky because it was like the last bit on the roll. Anyways, besides the point. So I used my yearly theme in the middle where it says theme planner. And then I write the names of every month. I may not fill up this entire spread. Some years I've gotten full 20, like 12 months out of a bullet journal. Some years I haven't, just depends what I'm doing and like whether I actually do every month because I have been known to skip months. It is what it is. But I wrote down all 12 months. If I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. It's fine. And then I did lines to like kind of break them up. So that way it was more easy to see what was what. And, but basically I'm using the spread mainly to like show the pens I'm going to use. I put like a sticker in there. You'll see me do it in a second. Some washi tape, just so I can kind of brainstorm kind of what themes I'm doing and then I can look at this at the end of the year and see all the themes that I've done or also if I'm like you know trying to figure out what theme I'm going to do for September or something I can look back and be like no I've kind of already done that one let's do something else so I put a sticker in that matches my theme and also change the items around the outside of the book at the moment to what my January theme will be but I used a sticker I swatched the pens and I also swatched a little bit of the washi tape that I plan on using and I will talk about these items in that video which I'll be filming very soon but here is the flip through for all the yearly spreads for my 2021 bullet journal like I said I will leave the first video linked down below so you can check it out I use a lot of tabs I use a lot of cutting out and I'm really happy with how this turned out I'm very keen to start actually using these spreads and filling them up because of course they look a bit empty right now, but it's fine. By the end of the year, they will definitely not be empty. Let me know who your favorite bullet journal channel is because I definitely want to watch more. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one, which will be very soon.